We're going to demonstrate cervical spine lateral flexion, also called side bending, and also rotation with the tape measure method. Make sure your patient is sitting up nice and tall with equal weight on both six bones. So to measure our rotation of our C-spine, we're going to be measuring from the chin, the actual chin bone, the mandible, not somebody's beard, not somebody's skin underneath, but the actual bone, to the lateral portion of the acromion, which means you need to be able to see and palpate the acromion. If you're not sure where acromion is, walk your hands out on the clavicle and ask them to do a little shrug or a little motion. You'll feel a little indentation if you need to go ahead and mark it. So Corey, what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate your head this way. Perfect. Stay right there. We're going to measure from the chin to the lateral tip of the AC joint in centimeters. So I have 16, and then I can even do passive here, a little bit more. And you will have to probably let go of the passive just to get an accurate measure. I've got about another half of a centimeter here. I'm bringing it back to center. Side bending is very similar, but on this one, I'm going from the mastoid process right behind your ear of the temporal bone to your lateral tip of your AC joint. Corey, we're going to do some side bending. Let's just side bend your head. You notice Corey kind of bent his whole torso. Let's come back up so you can reset. Keep those shoulders level and let's go ahead and side bend that head. Good, stay right there, please. So mastoid process, I can palpate a bone right behind the ear. Lateral tip of a chromion, got 20 centimeters. And I can go a little bit more into passive. Got about another half of a centimeter there. And come back to center. We're going to measure cervical spine flexion and extension with a tape measure. Have your patient sitting up nice and tall. And Corey, what I want you to do in this position, we're just going to nod your chin down towards your chest. Good. And I need to palpate the manubrium, preferably be able to see the manubrium, so the notch. And I measure from the actual chin, not skin, not bone. If there really is no space there, you don't need to measure. Most of the time when you're measuring this on patients, there's a deficit, and that's why you're measuring. So base of the chin, the manubrium. They have four centimeters. And if your patient's able to tolerate and they're cleared for passive range, you can measure that as well. That two centimeters. Extension, the exact same landmarks. Corey, we're just gonna sit up tall, extend back. So base of chin, actual chin, two manubrium. They have 23. Let's see if we can go back a little more. And we have 21 centimeters.